Welcome back to another video. So I received the following comment over here. Is it possible to remove a part from the specification tree list, but still keep the image on sketch? So let's see if I understand this question. I have over here the quick return mechanism. And we see over here, for example, this will be the top tier part, will be the tool one. If I will hide it, it will no longer be visible over here. But if I will have this displayed and I will check, we're going to see that this will be a pad with a pocket over here. I have the possibility to enter the sketch or to hide and show the sketch for this. We're going to see the sketch over here with black. If I will hide the pad now, that will make the sketch visible. So as we can see, the tool component, the part will not have, let's say, the graphical properties enabled for the pad. Keep in mind that since they are within the same part body, they will all be hidden at the same time. For example, if I will reveal the pocket over here, that will show everything. If I will go over here and I will insert a new body, I have the possibility to make only this, let's say, hidden. For example, if I will hide the original part body, I can still work around with the other. So, for example, if I will go over here, I will go to part design because I'm currently within sheet pattern. If I will make a new rectangle over here, so something really fast just as an example. If I will have this padded, we're going to see that this will be visible because this is underneath body too. If I will hide that, it will no longer be visible. And again, I can go with the original part body. So just like before, if I will just hide the pocket over here, that will automatically hide the pad since those two will be linked since they are within the same part. But this is how you can um, visualize, for example, the sketch. If, for example, I will even hide the sketch over here, but I will double click on the sketch and I will select the sketch and I will have this to be an output feature. If I will now leave the sketch, we're going to see that it will no longer be visible. So even though I made that as an output, if the sketch and uh, everything over here will be hidden, that will be hidden as well. So we have the sketch and I, again, I can have that enabled and re-enabled. It will be the same over here for the second part body. If I will enable this, I will go within the sketch. I will select the sketch and I will say that I want this to be an output feature. Now, if I need, though I will have that hidden, I will have this over here. So I can select the sketch. We're going to see that in this case, the output feature will not um, make that visible if it will already be hidden. So keep that in mind. So if I will go with output feature, I will select the line over here. So I want to output everything over here. And you're going to see that this will be the correct form to use the output. So if I will just click that, like previously, we saw how that, uh, that worked. And now, if I will hide that part body, I will still have the sketch over here visible, even though this will be hidden because this is now an output feature. If I will define this as a work object and I will update this, we're going to see that the specify profile isn't va valid for feature you want to create. Let's see if I will edit this. We're going to see that the output feature will um, actually have some problems with this uh, sketch over here and with that, that pad. Let's see, if I will have just uh, that pad deleted, 
and I will jump back within the same part over here and I will just create a circle now you're gonna see this will be the sketch if I will go within the sketch and I will go to output feature select that and I will hide that sketch this will still keep this visible over here and I can select it and if I will pad this we're gonna see that this will be padded and afterwards we no longer gonna have that output feature visible within the main viewport but we can always go over here within the swap visible space and we're gonna have it visible over here so I can hide it and in this case it will be again shown shown over here within the main viewport okay so I hope that you find this kind of content useful this is how you can still output a sketch and you can still view it even though you have uh, those elements um, hidden but that depends if it's directly only the feature if it's the body or if it's, if it's the whole component if everything will be hidden this will no longer be visible as you can see it over here i can hide and show this because the whole part will be hidden so that will make everything uh, hidden okay so that's it i hope you find this this video useful i position a similar video on the left side and a subscribe button to the right so that's it thanks for watching